okay? Y'all, this is a great way to snap. You know, I see a lot of times people that are affected get ready for this by other people's opinions. I'm sitting here in Black Mountain, um, North Carolina, and it is like the majestic beauty. I'm going up to see this very interesting retreat, and I'm just smelling, you know, this Mediterranean fig. Ah, and I was just thinking to myself about something funny. <laughs> that my mom says I'm always saying, she says that I say, um, are you okay? <laughs> and it is true, and it's funny that I say that, but, um, I mean, it goes for a lot of things. Like, if you can always, like, turn it back to the other person to make them understand that they're really, like, frankly, out of line. Like, here's the thing. You do you, and I'll do me, and basically, I'm going to be free, you know? It's like, I don't need you to judge me. I don't need you to tell me I'm not pretty enough, skinny enough, fat enough, religious enough, sexy enough, down to earth enough, none of that smart enough, that I work hard enough, that I don't relax enough. I don't need it. But if you say it, I don't mind because really my thought just goes to this. If you're criticizing me or someone's criticizing you, use this statement. Are you okay? Like, it really does apply. Like, you could be going to church with your family and and your spouse cussing you on the way and telling you to go to he double hockey sticks and then get into the service and then it's like the pristine union of the family and of love are you okay how about um somebody doesn't like the way you eat and you're not cracking on them you're live and let live but they want to crack on you are you okay? You know? Or like the other day, my mom and I went out to um, this taco place called Willie Tacos. And I came out of the bathroom and she and I had been over to the um, the waterfall and it was so humid and sweaty. <laughs> she said, Tanya, have you been putting your hair under the faucet again? Because sometimes my hair, it grows two times its size that day. And if I just politely put a little water on it and smooth it down, I was like, eh yes are you okay you know or like you're out with somebody and, and your man wants to like pull your shirt down to show more cleavage or pull it up to show less cleavage here's the thing are you okay like i'm going to do my own thing understand me on that i mean i, I really see a lot of people that take their youtube channel down or they take their new thinking down or they take their new goals down why because another person judges them. It's not you that's the problem, it's these people. It's the people with the problem. If they're judging you, then they feel like there's things in their life that needs to be judged. Or they don't feel like being the best version of their self. So when you do that, it shines your bright light into their dark corner. And that's uncomfortable, right? Um, what else? Oh, here's another thing I was thinking about this. Like, are you okay? Like, um, I was seeing, I was over at the shop, a, a beauty shop the other day, and I was seeing some news that was on it. I, I don't have cable, so I'm really unaware of what goes on in the world. And I saw where, I hope you're sitting down, okay? Because Jennifer Lopez, also known as J-Lo, you know, ain't that funny baby that you want me when you have me love is crazy <laughs> now i can smile and say ain't that funny ain't that funny is the same words as are you okay because i saw where this dude that clearly she's been with i guess this is like the second or third time he's done this i hope you're sitting down cheated on j-lo friends that girl's bottom like she is rocking she wakes up looking like that she has a little enhancements or whatever but please like she is <laughs> j-lo i'm here for you girl if you're hurting and you're not understanding like let's just turn it up ain't that funny okay and we can just say to that dude are you okay i mean i was like and what does that tell other women you know they're like you know, we work our job, we come home, we're frazzled, we're doing the kids, we got a, a kid hanging off our boob nursing while we're stirring the chili on the stove. Friends, I've been there. And you're doing that and 
And I mean, you are really like doing it all. You know, you're a one woman show and you're thinking like, well, my gosh, like if JLo is, if somebody's cheating on JLo, then, then how is Tanny K going to compete with that? <laughs> Y'all, it's just like Elvis Presley used to cheat on Priscilla. When he chose Priscilla, he could have chosen any woman in the world. He chose her and there was nothing wrong with her. That's an ego issue. Or I don't know. I don't know what it was, but maybe you're doped up and you don't know what you're doing. But the thing is, and, and I love Elvis. Peace to Elvis. But what I'm saying is, it wasn't her with the problem. Like, and then I was telling this to somebody else um, earlier, and they were like, um, yeah, once a cheater, always a cheater. And I don't really believe that. I really do. I feel like if you think people can't change, you've just nixed hope. You know what I mean? I feel like people can change when they want to change and they feel a need to change, you know, for them. And I, I feel like the possibilities are endless. I wake up in this world feeling like I am looking for love and finding love. I am feeling the energy of this world. And it's a phenomenal experience from, from my point of view in this life, from my time on this earth to share love, you know. And not feel less than I need to be not not feel judged not feel any of those things because I'm everything I need to be and if you don't think that are you okay <laughs> sometimes people just don't belong in your life you know Somebody. <laughs> Oh. Roxy, no, no. That's mine. No, no. Oh.